Hello everyone, Vita is a filthy back with another deck review. And it is, well, it's a casino deck. It's a B casino deck. But it's an interesting one with an interesting story. These were just put out recently through Conjuring Arts. They are from a, they are an uncancelled casino deck. From an unnamed casino in Asia where the operator is someone who has been apparently blacklisted by the US government. I don't know who, I don't know why, I don't know where exactly they're from, I don't even know if any of it's real, if it's just a bunch of BS, because there's a lot of ad copy uh, with these decks, a lot of promo with these decks about uh, Jerry's Nuggets and how these are selling for the same price with inflation as the original Jerry's Nuggets did, and it's Conjuring Arts that they're trying to create a new series nuggets basically in my opinion <laughs> but for some reason they can't or won't reveal what casino they got them from or who owns it or anything like that so the front is just a standard b deck casino quality club special b playing cards in red and blue diamondback club special on the side united states playing card company on the other Standard size, number 92 on top. Would be better if they were Ohio instead of Kentucky, but it is what it is. The bottom, some ad copy there from 2016, although they were used in 2017, according to the casino card inside. And the back shows you just a standard B back and standard seals. We get three cards, and of course, trademark stuff on the flap, standard tuck cases. You do get this scan card that has the date of 2017 and then this is the back on that card and then you got this scanning card and there's the back of the actual deck it's got the lotus flower and it's a aristocrat back which is interesting and then standard b jokers so we haven't i haven't seen them in a long time one of my reviews i don't think and everything else is completely standard. B Ace of Spades. And standard faces. They are on a casino grade B stock with a air cushion or I guess Cambridge Finis. And they are reasonably priced or a few bucks, you know, a couple bucks each, three or four bucks, whatever it was. This one, same, except that it is a red color. And yeah, I mean, nice enough decks. They're really good for magic purposes or playing cards. They're reasonably priced, good quality. Casino decks are always like the best quality, in my honest opinion. And they can last a long time with good care. So yeah, overall, pretty cool. I don't know how much I believe about the, the whole story and whatnot, but it is what it is. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. I'll just give it a thumbs up. It's just a standard deck, basically. So that is that. We'll see you next time. More. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.